What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. We are back in the shop CES Motorsport and we have a new titanium exhaust going on the E92 M3 from Sencal Motorsports. Let me show you guys this thing. It is sick. All right, so here is the full titanium exhaust from Sencal, you guys. Quick note, I'm gonna have a discount code. You can receive a discount on any Sencal products. The discount code will be right here. The link will be in the description. But this time around, we went with titanium. The last time I did stainless steel. So this is gonna be a hell of a lot lighter. Looks pretty cool too. It's got this burn colorization to it. And then they also personalized it for me, which is really cool. Thank you guys, I appreciate that. Sencal Motorsport, like I said before. So we ended up doing two resonators and then the Sport Cats on this setup, which should be a little bit more reserved in comparison to the previous setups that I've done. And they also sent me black tips as well as polished tips. So we'll have to see, what's your vote? Should we go black or polished with this setup on the M3? I think I'm gonna end up going with the polished, to be honest with you, they're pretty clean looking. But um, install is pretty straightforward. You guys have seen a million exhaust installs on this channel. We're gonna get right to it. All right, guys, so we got the car up in the air and here is obviously the factory exhaust. I ended up buying this muffler used from someone and it had these tips on the end. They're a little bit different. They're obviously not the factory ones, but this exhaust system isn't terrible. The main thing with this exhaust system though is the weight so obviously this is going to weigh a heck of a lot more than our titanium setup we're also actually going to be throwing in some upgraded a little bit more stiff transmission mounts that i got from turner motorsport they're called o34 they're like a mixture of poly and rubber so just a little bit more firm than the oem ones which should make a nice difference as well All right, so we got the exhaust out next to the new one. As you can see, titanium, this thing is super, super heavy. So we're gonna be losing a lot of weight with the titanium. And then obviously the resonators, deleting one section of resonator here. So we only have these resonators here now. And we'll see how that sounds. Um, we ended up doing the double X up here versus the factory that has one X right here. Interested to see how that sounds. Might end up changing it, we'll see. Might add another set of resonators and kind of mock the factory setup. We'll see, I don't know. I gotta, I gotta hear how the car sounds, but all we have to do is transfer over everything. So bushings, hangers, all that stuff, and then go ahead and work out the valves. All right, trans mount time, super easy upgrade when you're already doing the exhaust because everything is right there. Got everything right here. I think I actually replaced these not too long ago. Mm -hmm. uh, I think when I did the shift shaft seal I did. Yeah, I definitely did replace these. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna bust those out. We'll see what the difference is between these guys. 034 Motorsport. I'll have these linked down below. I got them from Turner, I think, or ECS, yeah. one of the two. Oh yeah, these are way more firm. Flex oh yeah, tons of flex and OEM these have much more rigidity to them. I'm actually excited to see how this feels. Should make a big difference.
box right here. Handle's finishing up the wire tap. Got the vacuum line ran. I'm just gonna cut this so we don't have all this excess. Put a little rubber grommet in here, and then we just plug that into our vacuum box. It's got a little antenna on it. And then we will run the fuse tap up front. He's working on that, and then we should be good. Ended up going with the black tips. I think they look clean with this wheel setup and all the black on the car. It just kind of made sense. The silver is nice. I like the silver, honestly, better, but on this car, I don't think with this setup, I don't think the silver quite works. If I had different wheels, maybe. But it is nice that we have both options, so we can switch it up if we want to. Excited to hear this thing. One thing is for sure, it's gonna be a hell of a lot lighter. This factory exhaust is so incredibly heavy compared to titanium. photos with the Greg M8 comp looks crazy next to my car. Donington gray next to the titanium silver wrap shows how much warmth is in this color. Cool though with this exhaust you can see the titanium when you're behind the car. Like it's just peeking out a little bit. It looks so fucking cool. Look at how crazy these colors are. Donington gray with a stealth PPF and then titanium silver. KPMF wrap on the M3. How sick is that? Click. Man, this car is sounding so good <laughs> with this exhaust setup. This system does a really good job of finding that middle ground between, you know, not being too loud not being too quiet it's right where i wanted this car to be because the last setup that i had on this car when it was open it was just loud it didn't really have much tone to it it was just too loud which in my opinion when these cars get really loud they just start to sound like mustangs kind of obnoxious and shitty sounding this setup is exactly what i was looking for i think a lot of it has to do with obviously the sport cats the dual resonators and then also the x the double x pipe setup really does a lot for the tone in general this exhaust on this car in my opinion is the best setup that i've had on this car um it's just sounds really good and it's also not too loud in the cabin like in the car it doesn't sound overbearing. It's not like shaking, you know, the plastic or anything in the car, which a lot of a lot of times when these cars get super loud, that happens. But yeah, I mean, I got I keep my valve controller right here. I can close it. It's super quiet, like a stock car almost. Open it back up. It's that simple. That's what I love about it. When I get into my community near home, I just close it so it's quiet. Don't piss off any of my neighbors. Keep the cold starts quieter. And then, you know, as soon as I get out and, and I want to rip it, I open it up. I also gotta say that these transmission mounts, they're perfect. 
exactly what I was looking for uh, when upgrading them because in these cars you get with the manual transmissions, I mean, it's probably the same way in the DCT, you just get a lot of slop in the tranny. And uh, these, I had brand new OEM trans mounts in this car. I have brand new OEM motor mounts in this car. And it's very difficult to find a good combination of upgraded mounts that aren't over the top because when you go full poly in any of these mounts with the drivetrain, you just get a ton of NVH. Things start getting really loud in the drivetrain and that's the number one complaint when people go to poly. The good thing about these mounts is it's this nice mixture of poly and rubber. So it's like OEM, but just a little bit of added rigidity in there. And that makes all the difference when eliminating the slop, giving you a much more direct shift and then also God, man, this car sounds so good. <laughs> Woo! See, it's just, it's not too much. It's really not too much. But these cars get so loud so easily. And I think that everyone's first instinct is to kind of eliminate everything. Like just go straight open all the way out. While that might be better for flow or efficiency, I don't really think it's necessary in a car like this because you're not really trying to make a ton of horsepower in it. I would much rather have like a good tone to the car. The biggest thing for me personally on this exhaust setup, obviously tone is important, but the weight, the weight difference is so dramatic going from a heavy OEM exhaust with that huge muffler to a titanium exhaust. It is a massive difference. But yeah, you guys, overall, super happy with the turnout of this. I really like the black tips on this setup. I think that looks really good. I love the way that you can see the titanium from the back of the car. So like if you're driving behind me, my friend Greg was driving behind me and he could see the titanium like underneath the car. It looks so cool. It never gets old. All right, you guys, so that is the video on the new exhaust. Remember, I have a discount code linked down below for SendCal Motorsports. Huge shout out to those guys for sending out this exhaust. In my opinion, this is the best setup that I've had on the E92 M3 so far. It sounds really, really clean, not too overpowering, not too loud, not too raspy. It looks really good, fits good. Yeah, honestly, I have zero complaints. But as always, I wanna thank you guys so much for watching the video. I'm gonna have merchandise linked down below if you wanna support the channel. And that is going to end this video. See you guys in the next one. Peace.